Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com with our update for Sunday, March 1st already, 2020, and we've got a college basketball free pick coming up on this report. Hey, first a quick note, if you've yet to become a member, DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video in the description box, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com, as simple as that. Click on the link below the video to get started. All right, listen, a real quick programming note, 50-50 on whether I'll be back here on Monday morning or not. We might have to wait till Monday night for Tuesday's card. Having a little equipment problem, we've kind of MacGyvered it, uh, paper clips and tape and all that kind of good stuff to get a video out there for Sunday. Um, gonna have to take that equipment in and get it checked. Don't know if they'll take it in on Sunday at the very latest Monday. So 50-50 chance, but at least you know uh, what's going on for us in case we don't have a Monday morning video. We'll be back by Monday night at the very latest. Uh, but the reason I kind of MacGyvered it to get on video here for Sunday is because, man, Obviously, the worst thing is a losing card. To me, the second worst thing, maybe the worst thing, I don't know, is uh, folks who lose and then don't come back the next day and say, I lost. And we've been uh, doing this for 25 plus years now uh, in the world of sports betting. And uh, listen, man, you lose, you got to tell the folks about it. It's as simple as that. And that's what we're doing here yesterday. I lost my seven star play on Pepperdine. Uh, we rode into the weekend on a nice 86% run with those elite plays, five stars and higher. Pepperdine held a lead at halftime, 35-32. Uh, they were getting eight at one point. It did drop down from there, but uh, they were only losing by eight with about four minutes to go and then just totally collapsed and BYU got the win. It was a great spot. There's no doubt about it. BYU just looked ultra tough. They're looking like a potential Sweet 16 team uh, with the way they shot in the second half after the big win over Gonzaga in their previous game. Uh, so we end up going two and two with all college basketball plays, which includes premium picks. Our second biggest play was Oklahoma State. That one got in for us over the Cyclones of Iowa State and we cashed a free pick here with Michigan State on the road over Maryland but overall a losing day so we got to get right back in the win column on Sunday and I do have some big plays I got a five star in college basketball really like this one spot for one particular favorite on Sunday it'll be available at 11:30 a.m. Eastern 8:30 a.m. Pacific looks like a two play card in college basketball led by that five star play biggest play on Sunday for me six star NASCAR matchup got one matchup for the race in Fontana California we look to remain perfect in 2020. And here's what we've done. Not only 2-0 so far in 2020, going back to last year, 16-4 and our last 20 races, 23-7 and with our last 30, going all the way back to the 1st of May last year. And if you've been on board for all of those plays, 30 plays, 23-7, and you've won almost $7,000 just betting $100 per unit. $200 per unit, you're up almost $14,000. The NASCAR matchup, the six-star, biggest play so far this season is up and available right now on my handicappers homepage at DocSports.com. College basketball, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Anytime after that, you'll be able to grab it. All right, let's get to the free pick and look to make it a college basketball weekend free pick sweep. We lost the free pick in the NBA. Still have the XFL free pick to go on Sunday. Uh, we're done as far as premium picks, by the way, in the XFL. We split yesterday. We had the under uh, in the L.A. New York game, and then we lost with St. Louis. And boy, B.J. Daniels scrambled enough for Seattle to get the cover there. But anyway, you can check out that free pick video in the XFL if you wish. All right, let's go to our free pick for today in college basketball. Thursday night, we had Towson. It was a big six-star play. We cashed easily when they whipped Hofstra on the road. Going to back Towson again here on the road, this time over Northeastern. Towson's been phenomenal uh, in revenge for home losses over the last... Uh, 44 times that their coach, Pat Scary, has been in this situation. He's covered 30 of those 44. Last two seasons now after the win over Hofstra, uh, Towson is 9-1 against the spread in revenge of a home loss. They play tremendous basketball away from home. I think they've won six of the last seven outright. But check out the stats. They've held their hosts to less than 40% shooting, about 30% from the three-point line. Uh, they have a plus five or six rebound margin per game on the road. And as far as Northeastern, I mean, they got nowhere else to go. They're locked into number six, the sixth seed in their conference, while Towson's fighting for a third or fourth spot. We're going to back Towson here to do it again. We're going to take the points with Towson, our free pick for Sunday. Hey, don't forget about the five-star college basketball play, the six-star NASCAR matchup, both available DocSports.com for Sunday. That's going to do it for me for today. Again, 50-50. We might be back on Monday, excuse me, Sunday night for Monday morning, more likely to Monday night for Tuesday morning. Uh, just wanted to let you know what's going on there. All right, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column. We'll talk to you either Monday or Tuesday.